Number 20. A certain heat engine does 10 kilojoules of work and 8.5 kilojoules of heat transfer occurs to the environment in a cyclical process. What was the heat transfer into this engine? All right. So anytime you're dealing with a cyclical, uh, cyclical excuse me, a process, we're going to use this formula over here on the right-hand side. It tells us that the work is equal to the uh, heat of the hot reservoir minus the heat uh, of the cold reservoir. So uh, basically what we're doing here is we are, it says, what is the heat transfer into this engine? The heat being transferred into the engine always comes from the hot reservoir. And the heat being taken out or given to the environment is always based on the heat of the cold reservoir. So we're just going to plug in the absolute values here because the negative sign is already in the formula. So basically, uh, what was the heat transfer into this engine? That's the question. That means we're trying to solve for Q sub H. So mathematically here, that's fairly straightforward, right? It's just going to be equal to the work plus then the uh, heat uh, loss to the cold reservoir, essentially. And then we just have to now plug in. So if we're going to use this sign over here, that's totally fine. We're just going to plug in the absolute value. So what do we got? So it says the work engine is doing work of 10 kilojoules. Okay, great. And then it's also losing, that engine is also losing 8.5 kilojoules. Right. So the work that the engine does, plus then the amount of heat that the engine loses, had to come from somewhere, right? And it came from the hot reservoir. So basically, it's just an addition, right? So this is 18.5, and that is in kilojoules. All right. And that would be the answer. And that takes care of letter A. All right. So let's write A over here, and now let's do B. All right. And it says, what is the engine's efficiency? So that's fairly straightforward. We have a nice little formula over here. It says that the efficiency, I'm just going to label this capital E will equal the work divided by the uh, heat from the hot reservoir. So we calculated that. All we have to now do is plug in. So the work was 10, the hot reservoir was 18.5, and we're going to get now a value of 10 divided by 18.5. It's about 54, right? 0 0.54. You can convert that into percent. That'd be 54% if you want, but that sounds good. All right, guys, that does it. Thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.